So we're, uh, welcome everyone. We are discussing maps. I need to create some maps for them. Uh, poor Selkie is, oh, is, is lost. Is it? We are now. Uh, oh, great. Uh, Love the three, two, one action that you give us. <laughs> I'm trying to be more like dad. I want to be spontaneous, like hilarious and just be he like. He still gives us a, you guys ready? He does not always. Sometimes he's been like, so you guys have been live for the last 10 minutes. Everyone heard all that. <laughs> And we're like, you're welcome. Hello. <laughs> My um, name is Elder Price. <laughs> and I have a, a show with you, a very special book. Yep. Yes. That's I not the actual it. lyric. I haven't seen the musical. I've only and heard I it would, great And time. I would like to share with you the most amazing book. Most I know it because book. my wife is obsessed with that musical. I have listened to it. I need to see it. Hmm. I haven't seen it. But I hear it a lot. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, continue, Marcus. Anyhow, anyhow, musicals aside, which is Horn a horny end. Ooh, that's even what? better. If you what? swap up the letters of anyhow, you can get horny horny end. Okay. Take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> go, whore. go take a nap. Yeah, Markham, yeah. So Mark any whore, you can you swap the the whore to the beginning of the end, and then yeah, so it's horny end. Markham, you're making me want to yell at you in Spanish. <laughs> oh no, Anne, Anne, because it's A N from any. Because you, it's basically you just take the Y from any, tack it onto the end of whore. So it's whore. no, no, wait. What? Horny ah, because that takes the N too. What? Yeah. All right. Important yeah. questions tonight. <laughs> 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 that's just figured that's just learned that we missed you horny so. hen <laughs> it's like hey. french yes yes no. that's it's, like french. French. it's like french it's that dad that dad i can't see the i tried yet. to do it where it's like i just went live to catch what yes. they were talking about it's dad ton, ton, hi ton, dad ton, ton. yeah ton, 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 ton. Uh, hi dad <laughs> wait, <No>. 15, <laughs> wait sorry pertaining to the mile thing 15 bad guys right or 15 yeah bad guys. 15 baddies yeah okay cool too many campaigns. There is a lot of campaigns. There's, There's a lot of two. campaigns going. We are merging them, okay? There was like seven. We are merging them True. together. Well, it's just the one shots have started to blend into campaigns, is what they are. That is true, yeah. We just have that wonderful habit of doing that. Mm hmm. Listen, I'm just. I mean, it's kind of. Well, to be fair, I'm not the first to do this. Um, who am I? Uh, da, 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 da. Lorana. Lorana just... does that. Oh, yeah, Lorana does do it all the time. Yeah. But... Yep. Yep. It's like, oh, look, but hey, they're everywhere. It's... Yeah, but at least Lorana is like, hey, so you we're going to bring this character back, and you just tell me, make a new one. I'm like, okay. And that's how I ended up with eight characters in Markham's universe. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah. And I mean, at least it doesn't petrified. feel like I'm awkwardly. No? Oh, yeah. Six of them are petrified, one of them is dead, and one of them is a child. Yep. Oh, no, one of them is doing evil shit. So. I was going to say. Yeah, Perro is still a thing. One uh, of them. Uh, uh, subtract another. Callie's fine. Okay, Callie, okay, Callie is fine. Corinne is a child. Perro is doing evil shit. Kismet's living their best life. For now. <laughs> For now. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, the rest of them... you better fix those numbers. <laughs> okay, Let's see. so. Vladimir is the living his best dead. life. <laughs> Vladimir's living his best life. Milo is traumatized as hell. Ulrich you know. just came back to life. And Drunken is brawler. What? Duckerwise Wise brawler. just said, who's the drunken brawler? Not well, in this that, campaign. Not this campaign. That's my character, Terrell. Yes. Wait. Wait. Is that? Is that you, Terry? Who is, is that you, no, Terry? No, no, no. Terry is, um, Terry is, uh. Guitar guy? Who, no, he has a different name. Oh. Okay, like but charger or something like that. 
<laughs> okay, well, to that, to that commenter, because I yes. don't know who you are, and plus I can't, I don't have Twitch up, uh, I made Terrell a drunken brawler monk solely based on the fact that me and Markham have both observed all of my characters are raging alcoholics. Except for this one right here. Marcus is the only non-alcoholic that Except might Marcus. change as they are going at this exact moment to... <laughs> um, going at this moment to um, to a... Uh... Demons. Yeah. Alice. Demons. <laughs> and I made... I was like, hey, there's literally a thing called drunken fist and I love Jackie Chan movies and I'm like, I, I might as well. I have to do this. I have to do this. It's like it's my calling. And then came Terrell. We love Terrell. Terrell's is, great. He is amazing. Mix of he's kind of been swept off, swept off his feet by a hot, busty woman. Sort of. Which time? <laughs> currently, currently, where we have left it has currently been swept off of his feet that by a true, hot, yes. busty woman. And is petrified. As as is the norm in Markham's kid. Yeah. <laughs> Not too many deaths, but all, yeah, there all are your alternatives. Warning for those who join Markham's campaign, at least some of your characters need to go through petrification as an arc. At, at least once. If you haven't been sold on his on his massive uh art market, which is kind of the weird version of human trafficking at this point. You haven't truly experienced the market campaign. <laughs> like, and just to be fair, after the petrification, your characters get a lot deeper for some reason. Oh, you yeah. Get, mm. a See, lot that of was on you, happens. that one's not on me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not my, I mean, kind of my it's fault. It's always a good not time my for fault. an ad Myla has attachment issues. And it's just trauma, and it's just a good time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I'll... Oh, I it has been a pretty consistently. I, th almost... I think you guys are gonna hate it when we shift from the 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 this current arc to a different type of enemy that doesn't petrify. They just actually, I can't spoil that. They do they do something far worse. So, <laughs> yeah. but I say I know like a handful of of what you're prepping to be mini BBEGs, and we know. Your master BBEG, so I'm like, huh? No, you don't Two have a master them. yet. Mm. Oh, mm. I, I, will, I will say, I will say. It if... has been revealed to me, sort of, and you may have forgotten that you revealed it to me. <laughs> I will say, if Rochelle somehow is like killed or dies, and like Vladimir is free of his like. Obligation. Is he, is he going to go back and try to take his empire? Oh, yeah, no. From Perot? From Perot? Oh, oh yeah. Well, Who now, now hates him? Now the villains all need to survive. That that would just be too <laughs> interesting. And do you think, like, do you think he's going to stand still when he hears? Because word is going to get out about an island run by Milo Greenwood. Do you think he's going to stand still when that happens? Oh yeah, word of that has probably very much spread in two weeks, two months, and now it's like a bustling. It's not really bustling, but like it's a good like. It's got a few hundred people living there. Few yeah, thousand. it's like populated. It's yeah, it's decently populated. It's decently it's, populated. Sorry, I just threw something, and I don't know where it went. Like, okay, it's, anyhow, we should get started. <laughs> we should work on this. We, we've been, yeah, yeah, we've been pre, we've been pre game talk, pre game talking for almost thirty minutes. <laughs> okay, sorry or, about that. We get very distracted. We've been, we've been like, text, this has been a text based. It, you know, it, it's, I mean, critical role did almost... that. Critical role did that once. I think they did like an actual. It was in their early phase, but I think they had a game where they they were like pre game talking for. What felt like a half oh, hour. Wild. Yeah. It will actually, yeah, I think it this, was a half hour. Been... They have six hour sessions, so, you know. Oh, yeah. For us, you know, a half an hour is like a quarter of the session. <laughs> you know, but I need, I still need Milo to take off Vladimir's head. Yes. Support this. Full on Ghost of Tsushima, Jin Sakai, and Koten Kong. I, so. I, I need Kurin to kill Perot. Yes. Just to please me. I, 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 I spent a lot of time things. building them to be antithesis of each other. I needed I to come to fruition. Did that with Vladimir Remember that phase Ireland. you went through with them being sisters? 
Oh yeah, I remember that. that yeah. yeah, it was definitely going to be revealed that I, there was a brief moment in time where uh, Perot, before Perot was revealed to be a tiefling, she was going to be revealed. Uh, they were going to be revealed to be a satyr. Hmm. And and then I decided like, against twin this. sister. I think it was going to be something like that, yeah. or, or no, it was just going to be a, a distant relative. Oh yeah, yeah. Because uh, Corinne's kind of satyr is kind of oh almost uh, extinct in this world. Freaking... Yeah. Also, uh, freaking, uh, what you, de- I don't Fair know why I forgot. I didn't do that. Selkie, I need that chart though with like Vladimir and Milo. Oh, like, I'll, I'll put it together. I'll put I, it I need that. Together. Like, I love the one you did for Corinne and Perot. I need the one for Milo oh, yeah. and <laughs> Vladimir. It technically it. has Ian, but, um, nobody wants to come here. Nobody wants to come there. Uh, they're talking about an entirely different campaigning and continent um currently <laughs> coincided that but just in a is, different part of the world yep, it, it is uh it is about three-ish years after this current one so it is kind yeah. of the after effects of what's happening now um some of the after effects they haven't yet seen all the repercussions such as the fact that there is currently a portal just sitting open from gashael to uh the country of adania on a completely different continent um oops, oops. well oops. we haven't it's, been to adania. i'm sure we've nothing kind of terrible been, will wiggle its we've way kind of been there. preoccupied but yeah technically because of that gashael is open to the rest of the world always has been <laughs> just don't go there. it's just been there yeah. it's just, <laughs> just nobody's really good for there. tourism he gets stuck there <laughs> that's the thing well, it now people level. have a way to get back out if they want. Uh, yeah, oh, it was right. one of those one-way trips. All about, all because Abigail sacrificed so much to create this portal. I mean, she's the true Abigail's hero. Abigail's going to be the know. reason for the booming economy happening in <laughs> 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 People People who get shipwrecked in years to come will find this portal and be like, bless the saint that made this for us. There's definitely going to be, like, a, a monument erected. Bless the great Abigail. Yes, yes, the session has technically started. Um, uh, welcome to our mid-game fun. I mean, you know, it's like playing around a table. I like I like hanging with these guys because that's one of the bonuses. We uh, A few of us also pray, play on Friday nights. And it's the same vibes. It's sometimes it's just we go off on tangents. We get very it's like distracted. Playing out of tape. And Ian, you can't judge. You do it too. Um, Usually it's hilarious judging us for not knowing something. Us true. being me and Naz. <laughs> and me. There's a sometimes lot I don't you, sometimes know. You, sometimes you know what's going on though. Do I know or do I just pretend to know? We're going to have to get on track, know, guys. Okay, this yeah. is... Yeah, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Rose and hose, Stop let's it. go. Stop it. It's your fault. You're the one who keeps changing the topics. <laughs> uh, uh, so we're going to put you on the spot um, with Callie and uh, Deidre. Oh, yeah, my lesbians. Go on. Yes, yes, yes. Um, my teenage lesbian romance. Yes, when we left off, um, Callie... High school and- musical who... Right. All right, go on. Callie uh, was uh, visiting apparently Princess Deidre's um, family castle. It's this obsidian uh, castle that's just built out of this volcano, essentially. And um, it has a moat of lava that then pours down into lava falls. Um, and apparently they have... Uh, devils serving them so it's fine oh thank you um so uh deidre was like it's okay they'll listen to me not hurt your friends so i'll send them to pick up your pals they can bring them back and you guys can stay here in safety for the night uh so we're picking up with uh and dad's not home the rest of the party flying back yes 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 her dad's not (laughs) home um dad's not home Dad's not home, so she's she's having a party. Like like the teenager she is, inviting a bunch of friends over to have a party while Dad's away. (laughs) So with that in mind, um, 
It's just you and Deidre at the moment. So, didn't she didn't she take us somewhere? She took we were, we were gonna go. Oh, yeah, we were gonna go. Room. Oh yeah, we were gonna go spar. Yes, yes, you're gonna go spar. We gonna, yeah, or not really spar, but like because apparently sparring is my only love language, and I feel really <laughs> self conscious that dad's here. Um, <laughs> he's just learning. sparring is my only okay. sparring is my only love language apparently. Um, but it wasn't really sparring. It was more of like showing off like what uh, Callie can do now with her barbarian monkiness. Yes. He, because she's, she's showing off for senpai. A barbong. Oh, yeah. She's, she's, yeah, she's, show, she's showing off her, her like glass blowing weaponry. Fun times. Yep. Um, showing how well she can balance on this, on this very massive two-handed axe that is not built for her. <laughs> it is definitely meant for an adult. Oh, wait. Actually, I think bar barbarian monk should be a bonk. Yeah, and bonk. then... They are bar bonks, because the bonk is a bar monk. No, no, no. A bar donk. Because there's bar and there's a donk. Bar... That's a bard monk. Oh. Bar donk. Because it has bar in it, and then donk. Bar -bonk. I don't know why. <laughs> it just feels right. Bardonk is bard monk. <laughs> okay. All right. Which Terrell? So, so bar bonk. I guess I guess if your barbarian bar likes to drink, then it's a bar bonk. If they're just like. Stop. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just get with the. You're cut off. Let's just get with the cute romance right now, Markham. Come on. I have ADHD. She's work with me. I clearly, clearly, we all do, but we all have to like help out each other. Okay. Yeah. So. Callie is definitely showing off, showing how like she can balance on the the handle of her axe with the axe like head into the ground. So Roll she's like, acrobatics. Yeah, "Have you seen? Have you seen those like the monks that do yeah. that? They can balance on the sticks. They're so mm -hmm. cool." But she's doing that with an axe, rolling Roll acrobatics, acrobatics. Uh, with an advantage because it's got that massive head that helps. It does, yeah, yeah, no counterbalance, counterbalance some weight. Roll. I went everywhere. Oh, Nito. Uh, that is. Oh, from um, Mavis is from Hotel Transylvania, right? Yeah. Wait, why are yeah. we talking about Mavis? Because apparently Ian... Naz is reminding Ian of Mavis right now. I'll uh, hold on. I'll show. I'll show. I'll show you, Naz. Uh, hold on. Yeah. I got you. I no, got you. Honestly, I got you. I got you. Honestly, she's reminding me of Leona Ryder's character from Beetlejuice. That's what I'm kidding. <laughs> Lydia, her, that's her name. She's reminded me of Lydia. Okay. Either way, very gothic, vampiric. It works. I mean, this is Naz we're talking about. This is Come on. Naz. Naz is gothic, vampiric to yep. a T. To the, to the best T. Yep. You have vampire goths, and you have eco goths, and you have pleather. Now I'm trying to be eco yeah. And just so you know, this true from a alternative. From a cowboy, I can say cowboy goths are just Johnny Cash fans. True. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> um. Anyway, my acrobatics is. Wow, I was totally totally went into this so confidently and forgot that I don't know how to do math. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Rolled a nineteen. Yeah, I rolled a 19. You, yeah, she does it flawlessly. Hell yeah. Flex, flex for the demon princess. Flex. Uh, yeah, Deidre is, is going to look impressed. She'll kind oh, of like yeah. do the princess clap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slap. <laughs> so, I... Did you, have you been practicing that just for me, or? I mean, it's really good. <laughs> loaded, <laughs> very loaded question, because how she know? <laughs> this is this is an opportunity. <laughs> Hold on. With her negative one charisma, I'm going <laughs> to... 
<laughs> Roll deception. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, whenever I first got it, I was like, that was like the first thing I was going to do with it is, you know, try to incorporate it because, you know, axes really aren't like a super like monkish kind of thing. And I never used one before, but I saw it happen in a dream. So I was like, I've got to like incorporate this somehow. So I started like trying to apply my, what my, like my brothers have taught me to it to try to like counterbalance it and get like, that's really heavy. And I'm not used to like dealing with a really heavy weapons like this. So she's going to someone shut her up. <laughs> uh, Deidre is just going to like <laughs> silently like nod along and listen to just hanging on every word that Kelly is saying. Um, Negative one charisma. How long does she babble on like this? A minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need you to roll two things. One is no, just a perception check, just a straight perception check. <laughs> straight perception. I was gonna be. I got in such a habit of like, can I use my passive? I looked at her passive. No, I can't use her passive. Ooh, what's her passive? Twelve. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Great. Also roll perception. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay she's got a plus two she's got something going for her oh that 20 that 20 yeah you are snapped out of your babbling as you hear a very angry marcus screaming <laughs> what is he screaming <laughs> oh it's so mad that he repeat it's just so mad that it peeked out the mic and we heard nothing oh <laughs> hold on sorry just don't do it loud. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got some of it. We got some of just, it. Here's, here's this echo of him just saying, "Kelly," and like the most, uh, like the most, like if this, you like, would this be the moment of like using the middle name if if you knew it? Yes, this would be like <laughs> this would be <laughs> your father using Full all name. of your name. It is that Full name. Oh. So he's definitely pulling out the full Kalinaga. <laughs> yeah. Kalinaga, where in the fuck are you? Oh, he's cussing too. Preacher oh. boy's cussing. Preacher boy's cussing. <laughs> oh, no, dad's mad. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, um, a, this means you've been talking for at least an hour. <laughs> you were unaware of how long you'd been babbling on for apparently you've just been rambling for an hour and Deidre so like a saint a is culture. just standing there listening and just <laughs> responding whenever she can get a word in edgewise um, like, does she hear that too then does she hear Marcus her heart. um uh let me do a thing <laughs> so actually she's not been listening for like the last 15 minutes she's tuned everything out so no she doesn't hear that she's completely <laughs> zoned out she's just like looking Callie up and down whatever at this you point. want <laughs> she's just like whatever she's pretty she's off in her own little mind space at this point <laughs> oh, oh my god the theater insults at least she's pretty you can't <laughs> shut up though but at least she's pretty <laughs> And just sees this look of, what what would Callie react to when he when she hears like Marcus? Uh, I'll tell you here in a second. Is she okay. rolled a nineteen still? Fighting. <laughs> 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 um, I will say that won't be enough for her to hide from Deidre just because Deidre is actively staring at her. Oh, she's not trying to hide from Deidre. Things, but oh, wait, right. sorry, I didn't see what 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 happened. She the... rolled stealth. Oh. She's trying she's not trying to hide reaction. from Beedra. She's trying to hide from Marcus. Okay, hold on. Let me roll a contesting because he is looking. He is looking. <laughs> so yeah, the uh the fell beast things land and drop you all off, uh Dahlia and, and the other survivors. You're all here now. And uh I guess Marcus takes off into the castle, just charging yeah, through. A not even charging, he's just walking. He is like... Just, oh, it's the quiet anger? Oh, no. It is the quiet oh, quiet no. anger. He is walk like, I know there's probably like some demons or devils that are mm -hmm. like, 
meant to like be like Bart. hello how are you and like he's just walking past them yeah. he does not care he they're like mad. dressed as butlers and they're ready to serve and they're like okay <laughs> he's just like okay. there he if, they're close to, if they're close together he just walks right through them he does not care he is a bad man at this point and he is going to try and one little imp like lands on your shoulder and he's just like you need anything you need anything he just, he just grabs person. him, not even like threatening, not even like hurting. He just grabs him and just lifts the imp off his shoulder and just mm-hmm. leaves him flying to the side. Well, <laughs> and yeah, he's gonna he's gonna try and look for Callie. My nineteen still. Okay, you're hidden. Uh, you're very hidden. Mm-hmm. Let's do per- perception. Well, if you're actively looking, that's investigation, isn't it? True. I mean, like, yeah. I don't know. DM call on that one. I'm going to say perception. Okay. Uh, if you're oh. actively searching investigation. Uh, he got a nat 20. So we oh, have shit. been testing nat 20s. No, so... Callie's, Callie's stealth was, was um, a 19. Oh. So, he, total of 21. So, you come into this one dark room, and there is a very brightly dressed tiefling girl. Like, brilliant pinks and stuff. She's got... You, if you've ever seen that one girl that, like, they do all the pink makeup and, yeah. and the outfit and their, the Barbie look, basically. So, um, he'll, She's just standing in the middle of the room, awkwardly looking around. She's like, Hi. And hidden in the back, you see, like, these two points of fire just... He'll just look at the points of fire. First, he's he's just trying to get a read on where the hell Callie is. So he looks and sees the point of fire, then turns back to the tiefling and goes, Hi, my name is Marcus. It's nice to meet you. I'm sorry. I know I was... I kind of yelled in at what I assume might be your castle. I may be too assuming, but I am very sorry about that. But, uh, I need to talk to, uh, the little candle right over there. And he says that as he says this, he is looking in the direction. She's going to try and sidestep in front of the candle and be like, um, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Move, little lady. Hi. You all right? <laughs> Oh, fun. Hi, hey, wifey. Hello. You okay. That's my wife. Oh. Cool. Anything that's cold? Crap. Um. All right. Uh, you just chill in here. Uh, we'll go on breaking about ten minutes after this scene, and I'll run out and get it. Huh? No, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. <laughs> Alright. So we have a massive roach in the garage that attacked Kayla, and all oh, the no. groceries oh. are in the car. Um, oh, dear. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just be, just befriend it. It's fine. Pick it up. Not everyone is Become you, friends. Just we get it. it. It's the... a bug. Get it and be like, Hello. Have you ever seen a Floridian cockroach? Yeah, I have. I've been to Florida. Is it, no, is it like a German roach or is it one of those like three inch motherfuckers? Big one. Three inch. Ah, the one of the three inch motherfuckers. It's a bug. Yeah. It's a bug. <laughs> Put a this paper. Isn't... At the very least, yeah. Put a this and this is an Animal Crossing, Naz. You don't get points for collecting them. <laughs> that is true. Well, you can put them outside. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, he'll, <laughs> he'll he'll look at you and go, "Move, little lady." <laughs> um, this is my castle. I I don't. He's okay. just gonna lean down <laughs> as a father, <laughs> like a father does. Go. <laughs> the voice crack. Please move. Little lady. Um. Okay. I mean, it, if there was a candle in here, I'm I'm sure the candle has run. 
by now anyhow, but okay. And she'll move awkwardly out of the way. <laughs> yep, so we're where, spreading. Where spreading. is where is Callie <laughs> hiding behind? <laughs> <laughs> probably like one of like the dummies but like, like the sparring dummies I, I'm sure if you run along you could probably catch the, the candle before the candle uh, runs away um. yep we're running <laughs> we, we hear it loud <laughs> we're very smart <laughs> he, just, he, he just looks at her and goes little lady if you are trying to be subtle that is not the way to do it <laughs> and he yeah, just I can out, outrun you old man <laughs> She looks very <laughs> awkward. If you've ever seen a like a, a teenager whose friend just got in serious trouble, right? Wait, now, wait, 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 wait! It's the scene from it's the scene from fuck it. <laughs> oh no! What is it? What is it? it? Was a graphic novel and then became a movie. It's got Ramona Flowers in it. I only remember Ramona Flowers. Uh, oh, crap! I don't know what you're talking about. It's this. <laughs> Just put it in chat. Oh! <laughs> Scott Pilgrim! <laughs> Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> okay. He's just gonna. He turn. just left. <laughs> he, he just, he's he gonna, just left. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna. He's gonna ignore the tea plane and just sort of peek his head around the dummy and go, "Hi there." Nope, we're running. <laughs> You can, you can, we can do a post dex check to try to catch. Hi there! You sprint. see this oh. tail just flapping as she's sprinting away. <laughs> oh no! Uh, hold on. What is what is this saving? Oh my god! Here? If you have hold person, I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> yeah, I need her to do a wisdom saving throw. Oh shit! <laughs> wisdom saving throw. Okay. Yep, has to be to seventeen. Nope, that's a ten. <laughs> yeah, no. So as Callie is running, uh, she we try to run. The tiefling just sees him just roll his eyes and just hold on his hand and uh, speak a word in Celestial. And Callie's just frozen right there. And you are frozen for a minute. And he just walks and goes, So, we need to talk. Now, I know you can't talk right now, so I'm going to do most of it. I'm going to be anticipating your response afterward. But uh, I let you go out. And the lava pitch is like, yeah, I'll let you go. All of a sudden, you're gone for over two hours. These devils come to our cave. I like how his accent gets thicker when he's mad. <laughs> and It's real. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, they say, hey, Callie, is in a fucking devil's castle and takes us there, even though I'm supposed to be a cleric. I am supposed to be serving, well, not Kalyane anymore, because she don't get back to me, but Allie now. And I'm a life cleric. And I am in an, what I presume, an arch devil's castle. I is that right, miss? And he turns to the tiefling. Um... No, it's uh, so, my dad's castle. Is your dad an arch devil or a regular devil? No. Okay, I'm going to need more explanation on that later. Anyway, point still stands. And I just want to know how. And he's just going to, he's standing in front of her. He's going to turn off the old person and just looks at her, just waiting for an answer. I mean, um, I didn't know mm -hmm. we were going to be coming to a castle. I trust me, it, you, you, know, you have no idea. I was just, I, I was just as surprised as you were. Mm-hmm. And, mm -hmm. uh, Who's your uh, friend over there? Hi. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. She's my friend. Totally just friend. Um. 
Hold on. I'm going to do an insight roll to see if Marcus finally gets it. Oh, shit. That was a 19 for a plus nine insight. <laughs> so he, like... Definitely, definitely just friends. <laughs> so he stares at you, mm-hmm. and, like, as soon as you say friend, like, you see, like, this little, like... Light bulb. Switch. This little light bulb just appear, and he looks at the tiefling and looks back at you. No, it's not. I uh, don't. It's Marcus, it's not. Wait, There's... healing's in. Is that why you. The healing's in, so only Callie can hear it. Is this why you didn't want Dahlia with you? Because you were trying to find your little girlfriend over here? It's not. Y'all have a girlfriend. Um, it's just. It was the chance, but you know, it really was because you know the lava pit is not safe for. It it was really that, and I just was gonna go look and see if I could if I could find it because I did. Um, we were last hanging out here. What um? Wait, were you, know, you hanging out there when I came by to look for you the first time? What? Well, you were gone after the fucking explosion that you caused. And we came looking for you, and he just looks at the team playing yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I was was trying to do like get like the 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 glass kiln to work at the yeah, I ended up here. Hmm. Um. Ah. Now that yeah. makes a lot more sense. He's yeah, just gonna. I mean, Oh, sorry. And, and then we we got kind of hung out and became friends, and Just, then yeah, we yeah. Uh huh. Friends. Mhm. Just friends. Right. He's just gonna. You see him like mildly relax. Like you're still in trouble, but he gets it now. He doesn't blame you, but he just like well just. <laughs> And pat your shoulder and just like okay. give that squeeze of like you're still in trouble. <laughs> when we get home, your ass is gonna get it. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't hit, but he will give a verbal lashing. <laughs> He'll just go to the team and he's like, I apologize for making a scene in your father's castle. I do definitely appreciate you looking after our little Callie. He squeezes again. She does need to be looked after a little bit, so I do appreciate it. I do not much more. Marcus. You do not get know. you don't get to say nothing right now. I didn't, I didn't just okay. Just another squeeze. <laughs> Help. Markham, it's your turn now. Markham. Um, she's... <laughs> what are you doing? I know. Um... Very gifts. It's not the time. <laughs> so, I need you to roll a perception check. Who? Who? Uh, either one, especially Marcus. Uh, that is a especially. 21. Yeah, she had tried to sneak out. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go by <laughs> no please don't leave me Shit, while they were having that heated moment she was like <laughs> tiptoeing out the door <laughs> no please don't leave me alone and as he kind of turned don't leave to her me alone she was just like <laughs> so she's just, right. she's just like saying they're like I'm sorry you mean me so she was yes. like you know, she was just <laughs> Yes, I do mean you, little lady. Thank you for looking out for her. And he he's trying his hardest to like not appear intimidating, but he's still bad. Um sure no problem. All right. I mean, I mean it's good to have friends. I mean we haven't had like yeah, friends are, actual friends are good. 
Mm -hmm. We haven't had good friends in a while, and this one is offering to give us a place this day that is going to be much better than the last places that we were staying. How about Uh, we, we get food? And everyone rests for the night, and then we can continue this tomorrow. That sounds mm-hmm. very lovely, dear. Thank very, you so she's much. very awkwardly smiling. <laughs> it, mm-hmm. Mark is just gonna, just, that sounds very lovely, dear. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. I can't believe you made her feel uncomfortable in her own home, Marcus. <laughs> that is the power. That is daddy. That is that is daddy magic. That is the power of dads. Would Dahlia be hearing this, by the way? She's there, right? Yeah. Oh, if, he, if she falls oh God. apart. <laughs> Dahlia's just standing in the doorway, silently towering. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can I do another perception to notice Dahlia? Yeah, you may. <laughs> silently. Silently. See how bad. Marcus definitely knows it's Dahlia if he's looking in the direction of... Well, uh, yeah, Dahlia was girl. following Marcus. In. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus knows funny. Dahlia's there. Yeah. <laughs> the fifth just... no, that's why she didn't make it out of the door. She got to the door and then stopped and looked <laughs> up and was like, oh. oh god. <laughs> just tell you, just uh, uh, Trapatina Trapatina soft girl and a mad dad. Which, oh yeah, and then having there's there's so much lesbian love triangles happening right now and she's just right. and, so gay panic just, all over yeah. the face. <laughs> So yeah, he's just as he like the dresser. He's just gonna go. I'm just gonna go make sure everyone is all right, and then I he's would. He's still holding her by the shoulder. Oh yeah, no, he he is not <laughs> let go. He is not let go. Ow. And I would, I will go make sure everyone is all right, and we would definitely love to have some food. Thank you so much. Yeah, and yeah, no problem. And again, thank you so much for looking after our little Callie. He just finally lets go of her shoulder. <laughs> you okay, Cal? I will guess I'll see you later. Yeah, well, we'll get food. I'll get, yeah, I'll get on that. Mm-hmm. And she very, yeah. like, she does that, like, okay. Now. <laughs> and I now. <laughs> If you'd excuse me, he's gonna shoot off another look of Callie where it's like this is not over, and I just walks to Dahlia along. and walks to Dahlia. Come on, Dally, we gotta go make sure everyone is all right. It just long. <laughs> all right, and with that, we'll take a quick break, five minutes, and then we'll be back. I'm going to go okay. befriend a roach, apparently. Yes, and... befriend the roach. Yes. Yep. Okay. Big befriend cup. Big cup. Paper. Befriend the roach Just, with the bottom really of a chocolate. Easy. No! <laughs> <laughs> There's <laughs> literally millions of them. They will not feel it. <laughs> yes, they will feel it. <laughs> they will There's not. millions of human. If you hit me with a chocolate, <laughs> I will feel well, it. <laughs> billions, even. I'm just saying. They'll come back. They always Listen, come back. there's always a human that could befriend the bottom of a chocla, okay? Everyone. That's true. Is... That's true. I agree with that statement. <laughs> okay. Go befriend okay. the roach and nothing else. Yes, that is what it's But we don't do. condone violence. Don't worry, I don't kill animals, only people, and not even them. What's up? <laughs> hey, yo, I've what's killed. Up? To be fair, I've killed animals, and I'd be willing to kill some people. No well, fun. you kind of—if you play Elden Ring, you don't Please, have a choice. Yeah, but don't, to kill don't, a lot of people. don't admit that on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not don't real people; it's video game people. For Pete's well, sake. I'm just saying we got we got to like we got it's going to be the preliminary, not the post preliminary. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to go to break. We'll see y'all in a couple minutes. We'll see y'all in a few minutes. <laughs> uh.
Uh, everyone missed that then. I will re reiterate. <laughs> <laughs> My roast. <laughs> uh, Marcus and Callie were misbehaving, so they're banned, a.k.a. We're, we're shifting the scene to where Abigail is. <laughs> um, just for a few minutes. It's okay. It's not, you're, go you're only grounded for a few minutes. Ooh. <laughs> Grounding is... Yep. Now like the grounder powerful. has become the grounded. Oh yeah, now now our dungeon daddy is like put us on in timeout. <laughs> when you say it like that, it sounds kinky. Um, <laughs> of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> Have you met me? Everything's kinky. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Abigail, um, I almost said Baba Ale. What's up? Baba that's Ale. Her, it was like that's it from a that's head. from a different pair of verse. <laughs> 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 that's one of their nicknames. I don't even <laughs> know what version of her that would be like. <laughs> so she embraces the, yeah, well, she embraces gremlin mode. <laughs> it's just gremlin mode. Abigail and her connections. <laughs> Baba El. <laughs> Baba El. <laughs> I no, see that. you know who she was. She's become her world's version of Baba Yaga. She made a little hut in the oh, woods. Yes. <laughs> She's living out there. She's been like yes. perfecting potions and magic and stuff. Yes. And so she she's forgotten how to say her own name, right? And it's just Baba Ale. Baba. And so instead of Baba Yaga, it's Baba Ale um, out in the yes. woods. The there different you go. one. That's canon now. That's okay, cool. <laughs> uh, you said it on stream, therefore it's camera. Yep, said on what? Yes. Therefore it's, it's camera. camera. <laughs> it's camera. We're what, we're punchy. Are we? Did we show up to this session drunk? This is water in here, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't. I don't drink. Same. <laughs> we're good. I do, but I haven't. <laughs> I haven't been either. I haven't. I think I, I need one. Really this... I was just drawn you, that cell. way. Yeah. You were just drawn that way. Yes, I was, you know, quoting just. Oh, no, oh yeah. Oh, just I'm not rabbit. bad. I was just drawn this way. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm that not drunk. True. I'm just drawn that way. Yep. Um, and so... all my characters are made that way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So canon cameras. Yes, I like that. Um, so uh, Abigail, you are now leaving with um with Alberion to go do some. I don't actually remember what abigail was going to do no one does <laughs> um, we don't know her plan <laughs> no master running over here um you want to know <laughs> was that a question oh oh yeah you want uh, uh revenge on f uh revenge on the old master soon. no too soon okay that's a long plan we're, we'll huh. get there okay. she's trying to find micah so go to the same tower that he's in. Yeah, but she's just not going to go hit him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going go to the, tower. I'm gonna go to the BBEG's hideout. I'm just not going to fight him when I see him. I'm just going to run. He's run. not going to see me. You're, you're that Elden Ring <laughs> player. Yourself for? You're that Elden Ring player <laughs> who's like, for? I know <laughs> that like this area is totally over my level. Yeah. But I'm just gonna run through it as fast as possible. Try and grab the item. item from the yeah. Yes, run exactly. right behind no. the bi big bad. Grab the yes, item before the they can swing at you. And then you just like sister. run out as fast as you can. You have Markham, to get the item now. <laughs> Markham, I know I, I kind of went the, put the stream in another direction, but you do not have to call me out like that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've done it too. I've done it before too. Just in and out. Although I have leveled up my sword so much at this point that it's uh it's a little one handed sword, but it just it does so much more damage than any two handed weapon I pick up. Oh <laughs> uh, no, strength build, baby. Strength build with a large two handed weapon. Just uh, I've been doing Dex you know, build, Dex anyhow. build oh yeah. Anyhow. Uh any horror. Any whore. So yes, uh, Abigail, you are out uh, with wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Right now. Hold mm -hmm. on, we were planning to go out. Okay. We okay. didn't go out yet. Fine. Last we checked, because At she has dawn, we nothing. <laughs> she has nothing on her, correct? Right. Rags. Does yeah. anyone near her? Can she see any items in the vicinity? 
Uh, I mean, there's like it's a fully furnished mansion. Okay, but I, a dagger or a wand. Yeah, I, you. There aren't anything visible. No, besides what like um you know people like Albarian have on their person. Albarian and his three acolytes. Other than that, no. Can I, can I just take it? <laughs> what you can ask? You can ask. She's being reasonable. Wow, she's actually being nice. I know. So this is weird. this is strange. <laughs> she, well, she's not gonna be nice about it. She's just gonna like kind of like as they're ready to go out, she's just gonna like realize she has well. She's gonna stop before they go out, and she's just gonna kind of like, kind of like nod and gesture to mm. Alberion's dagger. Oh, you need something? Oh, and he'll hand her like a, it's just a plain dagger. Okay, she will sever one finger and give it to you. <laughs> You gotta get that extra life. Fuck it. Roll yeah. constitution Hardcore. save. <laughs> Don't immediately throw up cutting off your own finger. <laughs> Don't Hardcore. kill me. You can't die by cutting off your own finger. No, but you, you can, can faint. Throw up. You, can. you can faint? Sure. That's a seven. You oh. might faint. <laughs> you, you take the dagger and you're like... <laughs> 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 Out like a light. Hell yeah. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? Bleeding all over the ground. <laughs> oh yeah. You thought you did something, did you? Oh, I love no, I love it. They're like, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> no elaboration. Also, we like, talked about the clone thing like an hour or two ago. Yeah, so he was like, yeah, forgot. Hey, he's like <laughs> Did Micah just immediately just multi-class in the Blood Hunter? Like, what the fuck is she? <laughs> no, this is this is this is Abigail, not Micah. Oh yeah, Micah. Abigail's becoming yeah, wait, a Blood Hunter. Wait, how many apparently. points of damage is that? All of them. It doesn't no. matter. When you wake up, you've been healed. Okay. Unless you just want damage, in that case, take one point of damage. <laughs> one point of damage for cutting off your finger? He's restored most of it. Oh, okay, okay. No, yeah, I thought you, you wake meant like up that. And he's would... like, he regrew the entire finger by the time you wake up. Okay. So it's just like some residual soreness at this point. So yeah, that would be like one point of damage. Three if you really want extra damage. No, it's okay. I thought <laughs> I thought you were saying that cutting off a finger equals no, one point of no, damage. No, 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 no. It would have been more than that. It's yeah. Just... <laughs> Roll two d20s and add them together. Yep. That's just based on if you roll two, two twenties. I was a serious finger, dude. You just cut the <laughs> cut the thumb off a little close to the palm there. Yeah, you just did it wrong. The just entire thing out. is like you lost a whole part of your hand. Yep. Straight up, Bodger picking up a whip kind of level shit. Oh yeah. I forget <laughs> she's missing a few fingers. No. Oh no, she grew them back because she's angry. Oh right. She's, she was she grew missing them, a few fingers. She was missing a few fingers, and then she grew them back because she is too angry. Yep. Too angry okay. to lose fingers. Yeah. You give her a couple of hours, she'll regrow limbs. All limbs except for her head. Too uh, angry our to die. party tends to lose things. Too angry to live. Uh, I, Mostly I, limbs. Yeah. It, occasionally. I'm pretty magic. sure everyone in the party except for Var and Ellen has lost a limb at least once. Yeah. So far, I think Bar and Ellen are the ones that haven't. <laughs> we'll see if that lasts tomorrow. Now that you've called us... Wait, he might not be on here still. No, he might still be on here. He's Darn it! He's still on here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he just said roll 5d10 plus 10 damage for, for Abigail. Um, <laughs> okay, well, well, now that he has been alerted to the fact that two of us have not died yet, he's coming um, for your limbs now. He's gunning for I, our limbs at this I point. I can regrow them. You can't get them. Yeah, well, he might do the <laughs> here. Take, I, did he did he take a limb and something else from Ahote this last time, or was no, it just Ahote that mysterious something limb. else? It was just it was it's just, just a, a mysterious something else. It's just okay. a mysterious ailment, but. Bajra took his leg whenever she struck him with lightning. Yeah, that's true. 
So <laughs> he he I I yeah. He's, I would say uh, sort of almost lost a limb twice, but didn't. Right? <laughs> he he lost so a many. leg and an arm, and then it turns out he was fine both times and didn't lose either. He was just, and he's got so many of them. Vladimir lost a hand. <laughs> yes. This is true. Yes. Dad says we need to get back onto our game. So, Abigail, right. um, you come to, your finger is back, but he's holding the other one. Uh, and he's, uh, you're right. That was. I understand what you were doing, but um, there are better ways to accomplish that. One that don't involve you passing out. Take the finger off now? It was effective, yes. But you got blood all over my carpet. <laughs> Took so a few castings of prestidigitation to get it out, but it's fine now. It's a free gift. Just stand back up. But you all right? You okay to still go? Yes. All right. What else am I going to do? Sit here? Fair enough. All right, um, let's go then. Uh, he'll gather some uh, needed supplies for the, the trek and um, usher the two of you out the door. He'll offer the dagger back. Would you like to still defend yourself? Can't really use this, except like if you want more fingers. Nope, I'm all right with that, and he'll put it. Um, <laughs> speaking of which, um, I never named his assistants, did I? Darius, Darius, come here. Uh, get to work. You need to practice the spell. All right, don't waste it. You can't have another repeat of what happened last time. Good. All right, we're ready. Let's go. So as you two travel out, um, you step outside of, of the mansion and you are now outside again. Um, uh, apparently the, so the back door opened into the cave. The front door opens out in front of this cave that they had made their home. So Basically, he has the, uh, the 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 door there, the spectral excuse me spectral door blocking the entrance to the cave. And as people can only go into the cave into the spectral door by permission, since it's blocking the entrance to the cave, the cave is also blocked off. So kind of got a nice little um protection going. <clears throat> and uh, he'll kind of gesture for you to follow and he'll head off towards the ruins of a nearby town um before they left i think abigail would have told dolores if she was going to get micah because now she knows the thing of each other Oops. um okay. and so is the nearby town does she recognize where she is when she goes out or no you are You are at the if uh you're at the town with all the undead. Mm. It was one of the first towns you came to. You found some loot that had been there, but you didn't search all the town because there was a bunch of undead that crawled out of the ground and refuse and stuff and attacked, so you kind of killed the undead and then got out of there. It was uh actually your first session as Abigail. Yeah. So okay. you would I'll recognize go. this, yeah. I'll follow him. Um, Dolores will come running up behind. Hey, hey, wait for me. I'm coming too, okay? Be careful. I always am. And I've got a wand, and she holds up this charred little stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Ready. She's doing her best. <laughs> 
Just doing her best. Yes. This thing may or okay. may not turn to ash when she uses it, but oh, heck, no. she's got one. She's <laughs> still a kid. Baby. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want to do around the town? Look for something. Okay. Like, what are you staff, looking for? A wand or a staff or clothes or even anything to armor useful arm armor. But, but, <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can roll investigation. You wear trail. light armor. Nineteen. The only thing you find is this perfect suit of heavy plate armor. Well, <laughs> hey, that's something for Marcus. Kept pristine in a, in someone's basement. What happens so, if she puts it on? You get this very you become very heavy. Of stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, so um, like, wouldn't so I just wear it? You could, you could. So you put it on. This oh, thing no, is I like think. thirty pounds of armor. And uh, you're she like falls over, I think. <laughs> you get you you start to move and like you have disadvantage on stealth, on dexterity checks, on a lot of things. Like half of the stuff. All your physical oh. attributes actually you get disadvantage on. Um, That's okay. I will so, wear it. Yeah, you walk for a few steps and are like, mm, maybe not, and you like take it off and put it back. Yeah. Um after uh, a little while more of searching, however, give me another uh, investigation check. Better than 19, I guess. That's 13. That's worse. Okay. Um, you find these beautiful wizard's robes on a corpse. I don't Gross. give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I All used right. to be a you corpse. Can't use them. You can't use them. Whatever. Uh, what? what do I need you to roll? I'll just do press to digitization to get it off. <laughs> get the clean it. Well, that, 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 okay, yeah, but uh, I need you to roll something to um to get it off the corpse. Get it off the corpse. I'm trying to decide what you should roll for that. Oh, uh, I know what I can roll. <laughs> Animate dead. <laughs> get it to pick <laughs> it off for me. <laughs> you know what? Okay. That's the uh, most noble shit I've ever heard Abigail do. And I know yeah. Abigail's like minor nobility, but like Bill. What the fuck? Right? <laughs> I don't want to touch this. Okay. I'm gonna have yeah. you do this. That for works. Because um, like, I can't pry it off. Okay, well you do it. It's then. like, ooh, undead undead th dead thing has mm. a robe I want. Here, I'll make you be alive and take it off. <laughs> no, okay. I think it's cause she couldn't pull it, right? Well, I was going to have you try to take it off without like tearing the the fragile clothes because they're kind okay. of old. But yeah. if you just go, um, you just like an want to animate dead and have them take the clothes cool. off for you, then yeah, yeah, you can do that. Okay, so Dolores is walking by, um, and she sees <laughs> Abigail like, this. and this, and the the dead wizard stands up and um. Underneath the initial robes, you realize her outfit actually, it's it's still, it's dirty, but it, it looks like it might not be as tattered as, like, her outer cloak as she kind of stands up. And, and this wizard, it might have been magical uh, clothing she was wearing. And she kind of looks and just kind of goes, and she just waits for instructions. I'm going to need that so if you could just off, please. Okay. So, from Dolores' perspective, who couldn't hear what you were speaking because it was so soft, <laughs> she, she like, looks around the corner and Abigail raises this dead woman, gestures to her body, and then the woman start the corpse starts to disrobe. And she's like, I'll give them some privacy. Wait. <laughs> There's definitely <laughs> nothing necrophiliac happening here. No, please. <laughs> Wait, I can explain. Oh, uh, Micah, we gotta talk about your sister. <laughs> I saw your sister raise someone, animate some dead, and then immediately ask them to disrobe. <laughs> yeah, she did exactly do that, but... <laughs> Micah, we gotta, we gotta talk about your sister, because... Listen, uh, wait, which I part? know the murder? she's like undead <laughs> supremacy and all that, but this is something next level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay, yeah. She'll, I mean, she doesn't. Does she know Dolores is there? I would imagine not. She's just like yeah, passing by here. the door and just sees this happen. <laughs> Immediately. <back laughs> Immediately <checked>. goes away. <laughs> Um, so yeah, she disrobes and hands you this pile of tattered clothing, and the individual is now standing there just offering her clothes, um, some of which are clearly non-magical and practically crumbling into ash before her, and then there is this one, uh, set of, of robes that it's, it's dirty, but it still looks pristine, if cleaned off. Yeah, she'll just press the digitization off. I don't know. Yeah. Press the digitization. It's like worse. It's like Worcestershire. 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 See, I'm not even Worcestershire sauce. That. It's like uh, I can't say Wisconsin, but there's a lot of words out there that are confusing. I will not. I'll press the digitization it off. <laughs> just say press I don't know how every time off. you say it, it gets progressively worse. Just <laughs> the worse and worse pronunciation. Just call it. You just call it Presti. I'll press it off. I'll press it. Yeah, if you have the if you have the different syllables, it makes it much easier. Prestidigitation. 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 Why? That's not a digitation. I hate that word. I'm gonna presto it off. And I like it. I like it. There you go. There you go. And take. Amanda says prestidigitarian. Ah. We're Prestidigitarians. Prestidigitarian, uh, and I'm gonna put them on. All right. Um, you now have. You're gonna hate this. Beautiful yellow and um, yellow kind of yellows and pinks are the, uh, the oh colors boy. of these robes. Wow. Favorite colors. Oh boy. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep prestidigitation uh. being. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just make them black. <laughs> <laughs> Make a black and red. I don't think you can change the color of magical items. Uh, Prestidigitation is it... just changing the appearance of it. They, yeah. Like it doesn't. Well, it, magical cool. items are are a different animal, since they are they say. have enchantments woven into them. Um, because some magical items. So you items... need to tell me that I can't make Satine's staff pink. That's bonk. <laughs> Yeah, you sorry, could with them. Make... That would be like an illusion spell. You'd have to use a like a minor illusion on on because you can't constantly. Yeah, because you can't like physically alter the properties of a magic item, um, but you can physically alter the properties of non-magical items. Um, illu with with magic items, you'd have to be using illusion to like mask what it really looks like. Because otherwise, what's to keep someone from disguising like a ring of wishes? as like just a regular wedding band that's genius are you, are you kidding me yeah but no be a chad give a wish ring as a wedding ring huh that's that's you no know? impressive <laughs> if just... vlad didn't destroy them all <laughs> hey when hey, an that evil emperor yet. wants to keep his power he's got to do what he's got to do Sorry, you're missing out on your jewelry. <laughs> you just obliterated almost all of it. Speaking of which, uh, actually, that's a topic for a different time. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Abigail, you now have this fine. Uh, just, there's a pair of matching shoes to this this gown. Um, nice golden heels <clears throat> with a little pink bow on them. Oh, we do. <laughs> <laughs> whoever this now woman was, this intentionally. <laughs> whoever this woman was, she liked pretty colors. Hey, you rolled a thirteen. <laughs> the nineteen and thirteen was more of the quality of what you find than necessarily what you find. Um, the average was the average route to around fifteen, sixteen. So yeah, you, you get something that's functional, but uh, not her style. <laughs> She'll look it. <laughs> Not everyone's a damper who likes all black. To be sometimes fair, you're a damper. Is a... Oh, sometimes you're a damper that loves pink. Mm. It's fine. I mean, Ulrich is a damper that likes purple. It's true. Purple and black is also edgy goth. It's still pretty yeah. goth for it. And yeah. plus, plus pink and Ulrich yellow. Ulrich is an emo. We've decided this. What is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ulrich is oh. an emo. Ulrich is an emo. 
All right. Um, <laughs> Dolores comes around the corner and she's also wearing a nice dress that she's found um, with a pair of like pants uh, underneath or leggings or something like that. Um, got a nice pair of boots that she's found um, from oh. another one of the mansions. So these are the mansions that you guys didn't get to search. These would have been the wealthier members. Uh, you only got to search that one. No, that was just a regular house in the, in the smaller neighborhood. And it was a wizard who was trying to hide that he was a wizard. Mm. Um, so, uh, yeah, what do you want to do now? Oh, give me one more investigation check. Nine. You find the wizard's staff. They're also pink. <laughs> you could use it as a spellcasting focus. But it is broken in half. What does that do? It, just... it doesn't. It's just uh, it's just a shitty spellcasting focus. It's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can cast spells now. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can cast spells with your proficiency bonus now. Um. Okay. Anything else you want to do around the town, or you ready to move on? <sighs> Move on. All right. Um, Alberian will send uh, his his couple his his other um. Oh, what's the name for it? Apprentice. His other apprentice back to the cave with uh, the items that they gathered, and uh, he will accompany you and Dolores um, just as some extra backup since you're kind of underpowered right now. Um. <laughs> on your way to um the castle uh and with that we will pan back over to the main party <clears throat> all right so you guys all wake up next morning great or do you think it's morning it's just as dark and gloomy outside as, as it always is mm. oh long rest fuck yeah yeah you all get a long rest Fuck yeah. Cool, I recovered the one spell slot I used to... <laughs> oh god, my health went so down. We have to change this. Okay. You, you need to go under... Um... Yeah, because when you do the long rest thing, there's like a little check mark where it's like, reset max HP during this rest. And usually it's clicked on, you have to... Hang on. I don't remember what it is. Hold, please. I can fix Callie. Supposed to be 108. How are you? 108. How are you editing her health? Um, through Character Builder. But then I, I didn't remember what it was. Are so you I just gotta using put the, override. the override HP? I gotta do the override. I gotta check through the Character Builder to remember what the max was at, but I did because I didn't remember. Okay. But yeah, I need to make her on AI. All right. Um. Kelly, you wake up and um, the breakfast is absolutely delicious. It's rather awkward and quiet. Very awkward and quiet. <laughs> no one wants to say a word. It's that you're being post. waited on by devils, imps, and the like. And I imagine Marcus is just staring daggers at Callie the whole time. Dahlia, I think, yep. would be having a blast. Dahlia. Um, no. <laughs> Dahlia went for a walk or something, I think. Oh, Dahlia went for a walk? Yeah. All right. Uh, roll a d4 for me. Oh. Uh, so never mind. She's right there. <laughs> There's me. I have regretted roll my decision. D4. Roll a d4. You are making me roll dice. <laughs> I just want to see where you are, where you're four. going on your walk. Four? Mark. Okay. I mean... That's a fun place to explore. Yeah, you get you'll have a blast. I mean, to be fair, Marcus is kind of cooled down from the fact that he yelled at Callie. It's also just the fact that like it's added on top of the fact that he's literally being served by devils and imps and is in as far as he knows some sort of demon worshipper's castle. That has like brought the anger down from a ten to an eight. Oh, so we're still pretty. Steve, oh, he's, but not he's, like he's still pe he's still peeved. 
But like, he was going to kill Abigail not a day ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that, you know, Mar- Marcus can get angry. <laughs> he is learning to embrace his anger. As he should. So I can't even imagine what the breakfast is. He's just eating it, just looking at Callie. Just alternates between looking at Callie, looking at the devils, and looking. I'm going to go. Uh, so. God's above. I'm going to regret asking this. Uh, who is your Who is your father? Uh, by chance, you said he wasn't an arch devil. Who is he? No. Um. He's he's the the king of of these these. Yes. He's just gonna just turn over to Callie and just look at her and just turn back. King, I did know that. That's impressive. I must say. Yeah, he works hard at what he does. Oh, uh, what does he do? manages things <laughs> just squints <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> and he just go very goes nervous away. just that kid at the table who doesn't want to be having a conversation with this person who's in their house but they're kind of <laughs> stuck being the host it's like when the the teen decides to have a party because the parents are gone and then one of the kids who has like this great relation no i take that back one of the kids parents finds out that their ki- kid has gone <laughs> to this come party to come pick up their kid. and they go and they don't leave the party they just crash the they're party just there. And they're like hey so i heard you're having a party without adult supervision don't worry, I'm just gonna be here. I'll be the I'll adult supervise for you. Everything will be fine. Just gotta keep an eye on my kid. You're grounded when we get home, by the way. And uh yep. yeah. <laughs> Except Marcus is not that chipper. He is he is silent. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I will say, Callie, this is the most silent you have ever seen, Marcus. <laughs> oh yeah. She's well, she's got like Three older, four other older brothers with her mom and her dad still like existing because because being an orphan is overused. I'll call out <laughs> D players. I don't give a shit. Fair um, enough. how dare you throw shade at Ellen? <laughs> to be fair, that's gonna sound terrible. I was gonna say to be fair, Marcus is a self-made orphan, but it sounds like he killed his parents. But he did. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, what? You killed your own parents. <laughs> Marcus like <laughs> Marcus originally served the goddess of blood, and when he, he saw- converted at like age twelve, he got like this axe and was like, Mom, Dad, I'm a cleric. <laughs> <laughs> You're my no, first no, sacrifice. No, no he he left his parents. He was like, nope. You guys are terrible people and bye. But no. Anyway. No, but y'all y'all definitely need to understand that Callie has had parent and being the youngest of this family, she's and being as a chaotic little shit that she is, you know damn well that in her monk monastery where all they do is glass blowing, she's definitely made way too many penises. She I... knows quiet anger. She knows it. <laughs> she's <laughs> <laughs> So like, how Listen, are the... it's really great it's really great craftsmanship, but you got you got you gotta stop. So like, how are this. how are the <laughs> devils and imps reacting to the fact that there's a freaking life cleric? Oh, they're irritated. They're irritated. <laughs> they're like well, well, I mean life cleric is against the undead. So with devils this should be it would be like a little hmm. Well, I don't know. Oh, there's undead like... there too. Okay, so the undead oh. are nervous. Well, yeah, oh. the, the the devils and stuff aren't the, the bottom of the totem pole. Like, they're the That's... upper end butlers. Instead of, like, having slaves, they just have undead. And the undead, she's like, every time they walk by Marcus, they just, like, try their hardest to not. Not really. Undead are more like B1 battle droids. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> they don't process that anything is out of the ordinary. 
And oh. I was like, oh, oh person, Please here, let me serve you. My and legs aren't moving. Oh. I must need maintenance. Yeah, that, yeah. They and don't. Meanwhile, Marcus is like, I should cast Dawn on all of y'all right now. <laughs> the, the and they're like, would you like some more salad? <laughs> yes, did you hold the tomatoes? <laughs> As requested. <laughs> <laughs> he just takes it. <laughs> Although but, canonically, yeah. they don't sound like me. One of the battle droids is, it's kind of more like this for the ones that can speak. Yeah, and then the enough. and then the, the the bones are just kind of like they rattle. They chitter. They chitter. So yeah, Marcus is just not having the time of his life. <laughs> the undead are having the time of their life. They don't know anything's wrong. He's like, I am gonna kill something. So what do you guys do after lunch? Or breakfast? I guess, uh... Hmm, actually. Everyone disperses very quickly. <laughs> He'll... I assume he's learned her name by now, right? Deidre? Yes. Deidre? It's like... Uh, Deidre, do you have a library here I can go look at? Um. Sh sure. Oh, actually, I take that back. Um, she would have introduced herself as Donna to him. <laughs> Donna? <laughs> yeah. Any reason, like, at player correct question, any reason why? If you were a teenager that was having a party... Oh. The parent crashed it. Would Bruh. you give them your real name? <laughs> hey, so fair, your I... daughter Donna was over. I don't have a daughter named Donna, you nut. <laughs> You're gonna go. Okay, fair enough. You're gonna go, Nana. Where can I just look at your library really quick? And every time she's like, it, it, when she first introduced her, it was Donna. She kind of like gave the eyes at Kelly, like, just call me Donna. <laughs> <clears throat> um we do yes it's in the uh lower levels all right you take the uh take the uh the spiral staircase on the right you go out here you take a right take the spiral staircase there um then you go down the hallway straight ahead third door on the left you take a left there take another right four doors down and then uh a Another spiral staircase down there. Follow that down. Uh, take the door that's immediately on the left after that. And then go straight for about five or six um, halls. And it should be the last door on the right. Oh, after you take that one last left. I'm just going to have one of your butlers escort me. Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, he's going to get escorted by one of the demon butlers to the library. So, Callie, are you okay? Oh, yeah. This being scolded by parental figures is nothing I'm not 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 used to. Nothing you're not not used to. Okay. I'm pretty used to it. <clears throat> I probably messed up somewhere in there. Yeah. The... Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Well, it's all right. Should be fine. Should be fine. Yeah. Um, you want to go hang out on the balcony for a bit? Yes. Okay. Could yes, you show me how you blow glass again? Yes. Yes. I, I love it. I when can you do, do that. that. It's it's really cool. I, I can. I, like it. I can do that, and I have more things so I can make you something. Yes, please, yes. I can make you something. Please do, yes. Uh, Marcus, uh, what are you things. looking for exactly? So as, like, I assume that the, does the demon leave me alone or does he, like, just stay in the room? He kind of hovers. <clears throat> He's gonna look just, alright. He's gonna just kind of look for a general history history of this land see if there's anything uh, possible mm. legends 
Roll investigation. That is a nine. You find uh, history on the land, but all the history books are written after the fall of Gashale. Okay, that's not bad. After the fall of Gashale. It's pretty much the same thing. It's like death, destruction to, you know, anyone who resists. He's going to just go, hmm. just pull out a book. Okay. Death, destruction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> puts, uh, puts another book. Death, destruction. Yeah. Do you guys have any other history books that aren't just about death and destruction? What do you seek? Well, I guess just any, like, local, I guess not local, but any, like, legends or anything like that of, like, I don't know, how to get the hell, <laughs> how to get the hell off this island. Shh, you're in a library. Above, help me be strong and not guide bolt this motherfucker. This rough motherfucker really just shushed me. <laughs> you, need to life you need to look over in the legend and lore section. There, L through P. That's your best bet. And he's gonna just look through there. Uh, roll again. Investigation this time with advantage since you got. Pointed okay. to. Oh yeah! <laughs> Thank you. That is an that is an unnatural twenty. Nice. You do indeed find some good legends. Uh, what kind of legends were you looking for? Like, and Thor killed the great bear with his bare hands, <laughs> and he became known as Thor the Bare Handed. <laughs> no, he's mainly looking. Hi. He's mainly looking for places where people have disappeared in a non-violent way and didn't appear dead halfway. Uh, oh, didn't appear dead. Much. That's very um, simple. Sanctuary. Okay, All those so, who enter sanctuary never come back into the darkened world, except for the few warriors that like guard sanctuary's borders. Okay, nothing else besides sanctuary though on how to get out of there. Nope, that's it. He's gonna just like look through and go for sanctuary. No, I'm not going back. To that <laughs> I'm not going back to that fuck town ever again. No, no. That's a shame. I had this whole arc planned in sanctuary. <laughs> well, well, he's peeved. He's not, you know. <laughs> fuck him. Well, Abigail kidnapped Callie. <laughs> he's just gonna look. And the other people who are there are off screen for now. Just go. Uh, fucking damn it. Hey, uh, can I make a call really quick? Why? I need to talk to my girlfriend really quick. Sure. Go right ahead. He's gonna pull out the same stone and go. Can I can I have a moment of prophecy? Okay. And they'll, like, turn around and walk out the door and just stand right outside the door. <laughs> <sighs> the fucking devils. Of... I'm so done with this continent. And he's gonna uh, just bring it up to his own. Uh, Dragon Mommy, are you there? <laughs> I forgot that was the nickname. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hi, Dragon Dad. Oh, wait, wait. What, what was this accent? <laughs> she's not this. She, oh, she <laughs> comes back and she's seven. Um, all right, hang on, hang on. No, this is not uh, the frog from Find Star it. Wars. Uh, find it. She's his southern, right. she's she's, his southern she's, belle. <laughs> no, she's Scottish. All right, here we go. Hi. Hi, Dragon Daddy. I'm here. What's up? <sighs> Look, I need a little... I, I'm, we're in a weird situation. Uh... Has anyone told you, supposedly, about this, uh, King of Gashale? Um, no, the only king I'm aware of is, uh, I mean, I, d I haven't heard of any kings, no. The, the, uh, sanctuary is run by, uh, sort of a council, and, um, I guess the closest thing you have to a king on Gashale is probably, uh, the archdevil who, uh, 
conquered the continent all those years ago. Uh, quick question. Is is he by chance residing in a castle on a mountain that looks like it's made of obsidian? I'm not sure. Wouldn't be surprised, though. Sounds right for him. Well, because, uh... Uh... <clears throat> and this, this is also, like, the one time... I think... I don't think... Uh... <laughs> She's ever heard Marcus annoyed or mad, except at that one point where he was kicked out of the sale. It's almost like that. Because uh, we're kind of in a castle in the mountains made of obsidian. Are you all right? You need a rescue. Don't worry, no. I'll talk to the lads. We can get up there and get you no, out. No, no, no. We're Are the fine. dungeons we in the tower or in the, in the, in the basement area? Very delicious. You're staying there as guests? Yes, apparently. Uh, you remember Callie? The, no, uh, I remember Nessie. Callie. Sweet girl. Yeah. Uh, she, she's Callie? She's all right? Yeah, she is oh, I'm glad definitely to hear all it. right. Although, I do think she doesn't realize something about herself. <laughs> that... Oh, Make wait, sort but... with this absolute stranger about the nature gay? of my child's sexuality. <laughs> oh, you you realize that too? I thought it was just me. <laughs> I yes, was rather she... obvious. Yeah, she is very gay for apparently the princess here, so. Oh. Very gay. Oh. Well, that sounds concerning. I yeah, keep an it... eye on the lass. I That's feel like her I'm voice trying... needs to be higher. There we go. <laughs> I keep an eye on her. <laughs> We'll trust find me, it. Trust me, that was what I'm trying to do. But uh, <clears throat> anyways, apart from the fact that I just want to make sure you knew where we were, uh, is there any sort of people around Sanctuary that may know another way to get the hell off this island, this continent? No, as far as I know, there's no getting off the continent. Those who go to Sanctuary, they just stay at Sanctuary. <sighs> well... Fuck. He literally yeah. looked at a portal into Adania and walked away not a day ago. <laughs> what? Wait, would Marcus remember that? <laughs> Hold on. Roll history. Would he, rec would he recognize that as? It like, was pretty like grassy green hills. It's, Hold on. I mean, I guess it could have been sanctuary. Okay, that's a that's a that's a twenty-two. Yeah, he remembers that portal. Yeah. What? Well, Oh, by the gods, I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, I know oh. that, dear, but I love you anyhow. Oh. Uh, uh, all right, I I know I'm a generally in it, but I'm an idiot in this case because I just a fucking necromancer tower. There, there's a portal in the necromancer tower to this grassy area. Why the fuck didn't I go? Oh yeah, because I was saving everyone's asses. All right, okay. Hey, yo, what's so, up with me? The problem. Okay. So, we may have a way out of here. Possibly. Maybe. Although, I don't know how better or worse it get. But anyway. So, I was talking with Allie, right? I, yeah, I told you this. I was talking with Allie. And I got transported to this necromancer tower. Now, the necromancer currently is Obsidian. And her his, it's a long story. But... In the tower, there was this portal to this land, like this very green, very grassy area that could be our way out of here. Well, it's worth looking into. We'll head that way. If you guys are safe there, as soon as you can, come meet us, all right? Yeah, yeah. I can't believe I didn't for I forgot about that. Until convergence, that. convergence. No, convergence. don't. No, <laughs> you're going to kill me. <laughs> Fuck, I am an idiot. All right, but yeah. So, uh, I guess we'll just meet there. Would Marcus remember where it is? That's the thing. He got teleported. Uh, well, yeah, because he walked and then he flew from there to here. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. But would he know the direction fr from Sanctuary, though? Roll survival. Uh, she's not in Sanctuary. She's been traveling across the wasteland looking for you the last couple of weeks. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that is true. Okay, wifey so, material. That is wifey material. 
Uh, let's see. Survival, you said? Oh, that's yep. a plus three. Yeah, so, uh... That's a 17. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey you can guess. Because um, he knows where... Because he remembers the trip from the fort below that tower to Sanctuary there first time. Okay. So he would know. Okay. Yeah. So he can relay so, that in information to her. Okay. I appreciate yeah, so it, darling. That's that's helpful. Yeah. And uh, I'll just be sure to... Because I don't know if these... These things can't be used one, more than once a day, right? I don't think so, no. Oh, while well, I remember it, um, could you tell Callie that her brother says he sends his love? Oh, yeah, I'll be sure to say it. Good, good. Well, he's with the party, so we're coming. Coming to the rescue, right. but it sounds like you already took care of that. Good job, love. Uh, trust me. If I were had the choice, I would be literally in. There are undead all around and i'm surrounded by devils and i don't also they're friendly that's weird yes also nice. i don't know if i told you this nice but i saw ally flirting with the fucking arch devil all right that's weird darling i don't know what the fuck is happening my entire conception of it's hot of the gods <gasps> arch devils uh oh what has Bifey bestowed you with? Ice cream over very nice, warm, fresh brownies. Ooh. Ooh. Baked. That Ooh. good crack cocaine. Mm. And some of her fresh baked tea. Not tea, oh. freshly brewed baked? tea. Fruit. <laughs> baked it. <laughs> baked it. Damn. That is, that is awesome. But anyway, to continue uh. the rant. Yeah, there were like courting and everything. And I don't know what the fuck to think. And my concept of religion is entirely out the fucking window at this point. <laughs> There, what? All right, I'm going to I'm going to look into that because that's that's weird. Yeah, and I'll I'll be sure to since these things probably don't work more than once a day. I'll be sure to call tomorrow and just give you an update on everything. Uh, I still feel fucking uneasy in this castle, so I'll be on guard. All right. Well, be careful, okay, love. Uh, I will try my best. All right, I'll see you soon. Now she's kind of—I don't know what accent that turned into. <laughs> <laughs> see, you see you soon. Lo love you, darling. Love you too, Dragon Daddy. You stay safe, all right? All right. You too, Dragon Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Selkie dying. <laughs> Never not be funny. <laughs> and yeah, oh he's good. He'll paint up and just go. All right, you can come back in now. <laughs> Never not be funny. Never. Roll perception. Sure. Ah, damn it! My God, if he's listening to that whole thing, I hope he judges you greatly. That is. That is. Next. That is a nineteen. Nineteen. You turn around to tell him that he's right there. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Apparently, he's just been behind you for a while. I'll never let him move that down. He, he just looks to. and goes, I thought I said I wanted some privacy. I gave you privacy. I didn't speak. Not once. I mean, it took yeah, a lot of self restraint. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, devils are supposed to be like absolutely evil, not bored and done with the world. But that's what they're turning into here. <laughs> he'll just look and just put back the books. He, yeah, he'll hold on. I'm gonna do something really funny here, really quick. Oh boy, this, this will mainly be an inside joke. He'll. Okay, yeah, perception, yeah. So he notices a book town and goes, ooh, this looks interesting. Ivory, t ivory trees, that sounds like, oh, gosh. All right, no, no. That is, ugh. And he puts it back. How do you how do you have that kind of smut here? Hmm. We don't. 
Shut up! He picks it up and kind of like holds it out. The master's mistress must have visited recently. <clears throat> I don't know if that was audible or not. <laughs> no, ALS. Nope. Because... Wait, I got no. a yes and a no. Was it or no? I yeah, didn't the, hear it, but I was also the, dying. So the, okay. the mass the master's mistress must have visited recently. The master's mistress. <laughs> is that what <laughs> is that what he said? <laughs> yep. That was exactly what he said. <laughs> okay, cool. He'll just go. Oh, still. That I don't even want to know. Penis. What? <laughs> No, you know, like, okay, to describe what basically happened, this is what happened to Don't. It is what happened to me Don't. when my friend told me that Fifty Shades of Grey was about cops. Oh. Oh, no. Hold on. You froze. No, we're just broken. <laughs> oh, okay. Thing. No, like, wait. <laughs> no, because he was like, hey, you like mysteries, right? This mystery. Read right, this. Yeah, no. That is what's happening right now. He's like, ooh, I have a tree. That oh sounds good. God. And his reads a little bit and goes, what the fuck? No. Yeah, it was terrible. No, it is not. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, I Whoops. enjoyed the little yeah. inside joke. He, just with me. You know, he, he just, just with me. puts it. <laughs> he puts it <laughs> back. And why is, why is that doing? Naz and I don't even pay attention to what you two do there. Nope. <laughs> just leave us to our own devices. <laughs> yep. But yes. Micah would be absolutely appalled by the fact that Smut is right next to the, the uh, historical yep. legends. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> absolutely appalled. This is nuts. Yeah, what happened to Micah? No yeah, yes. basically what happened to Micah happened to Marcus just at that moment. Poor thing. No. He's so just gonna thing. He's just gonna like just kinda cross himself in the way he usually does and just walks out. So <laughs> So, tapping back to Abigail, Abigail, as you kind of, after a couple of days of travel, you do reach um, the tower, the, the castle again. Make okay. a perception check for me. Oh, yeah, not 26. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ew. It's eerily quiet. Normally, there's like undead wandering about and stuff. It's nothing. <laughs> By <laughs> sound effects of just what random does that mean? stones shifting <laughs> what does in the that wind. Mean? <laughs> How do you proceed? Who's Both Dolores and okay. Albarian are following your lead. That's it? Yeah. Okay. She's like. Taking it back a little bit. Oh, wait. No, he did keep one of his apprentices with him. So, Dolores Albarian and one of his apprentices, who is currently unnamed. I'll come up with a name for it later. It? <laughs> okay. They're an intern. They don't matter. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, corporate America, calm down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> She'll, like, kind of, like, stop and be like, it's his uncharacteristically quiet. It really so. We'll be on our guard then. Yeah, don't worry, we've we've got your back. Something is not as it usually is here. Well, this place was never particularly pleasant. It's fine, I'd but... say the quiet makes it eerily less so, somehow. It means I can't predict what's going on inside there. Yeah. Okay. We'll follow your lead. Albarian uh, nods in agreement with Dolores, and he kind of readies his staff. The, the gemstone uh, on the, the top of it slowly begins to just gl glows a little bit as you guys move forward. Are Does that make them know humans can't spider climb? Humans cannot, no. Yeah, but the, does Abigail know that? 
Abigail and has all Abigail, of her So Abigail was very reclusive. Yeah. To be I fair, she, though, she's been with Mar Marcus for a little bit, and she's never seen him climb a wall. So that doesn't yeah, mean you can't that do it. Yeah, but doesn't mean you can't do it. That's I've enough. never seen you guys swim. That doesn't mean you can't do it. I promise you I can't. <laughs> I hope I don't know. so. Now What's I don't believe you. Be real short. Dude, I'm a triathlete. I'm doing oh, an God. Ironman in like two weeks. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. I forgot what encompassed an Ironman. I forgot what that was. First part, number <laughs> one, swim <laughs> for two kilometers. Swim. You know what? Just uh, we get we out. get text from from Naz. All right, I'm starting the race. <laughs> Never hear from Naz again. <laughs> Naz, no. Naz. <laughs> Naz, don't swim. start the race. You can't swim. You can't swim. You can't swim. How hard could it be? It's only two kilometers. <laughs> it's okay. the number two. It's a small number. It sounds small until you start swimming. Anyways. So, I, I would say roll a wisdom check. Oh, big stretch. If you think she's really ignored humans, okay. roll it with disadvantage. But that's player choice. I don't think ignore. I just want your. Uh, like, has she paid opinion? attention to that? Opinion. Them? <laughs> fucking word. I don't. Um, I personally don't think she's paid attention enough to. Yeah, humans like to she know. hasn't paid attention, but she hasn't like purposely. Like, if there was a human there. She wasn't like, she, she wasn't like, I'm not looking, you know, like yeah. she would have casually interacted, but right. she's not paying attention. Right. Yeah. I'd say roll with disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> Six. <laughs> she's like, I can still spider climb. <laughs> as far as she's aware, she could walk up and then just walk up the wall. Yeah. That's no a problem. That's what I'm thinking she would plan to do. So Make a dexterity gonna... saving throw, please. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. Like she's Have you ever trying seen to locate... someone try and do a parkour where they go up and they try and go, you know, do a little run up the wall? Yeah. And it parkour. fails and they go. <laughs> That's what we're trying to see. When she step. <laughs> okay. Right, but you're putting your full weight onto the foot that's on the wall and lifting Expecting... your other foot off the ground. <laughs> but no matter what, you have to fall then. How do you know? I guess you step. If back. you quickly like step back yeah. instead, <laughs> it's fifteen. Mm. You were so close. <laughs> you need a sixteen. So <laughs> she goes up and she like puts a foot on the wall and then like confidently steps up and then <laughs> onto her back on the ground. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Ouch. Respect her. <laughs> Disrespectful. Six points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Six points of bludgeoning. I'll say two points. Two points. From a two uh, foot just drop. To, <laughs> just to fuck with her. Absolutely. I love it. <laughs> this is this is Abigail Karma time. Yes. This is the part where you get to feel better about having played her as such a jerk as now she's <laughs> getting her comeuppance. Yeah. Now you now you understand what I while feel like Deloria, was proud. While, while Dolores and Alberian look on. Yeah. She attempts yeah. to walk up a wall and fails. Yeah, they must. Like... Better yet, Alberion is then going to cast Spider Climb and proceed to walk up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> As an elf, insult to injury. She's gonna like, cause you can also do it with your hands, right? Like as a mm -hmm. dampier. Yeah. She's gonna like keep, like, and she just get it for a little bit, and she, no, Dolores is an elf. Dolores um, is gonna kind of walk up. Are you okay? I can't. So little. She's stupid. you're just like what? touching the wall. She's just like trying to get it to stick, <laughs> and she's. I. It's not. I can't. Why are you reverse Spider Man right now? Yeah. <laughs> right. Why aren't I sticking? <laughs> I can't. It's not working. You're you're not a damp air anymore. That that's people can't normally do that. From up above, Alberian can't call something. Yeah, I spellcast it. This this is a magical ability of mine. Because... 
on my, my fucking walk or something. I'll join you, okay? Yeah. I want to get my boots of spider climbing back. Mm -hmm. Is my body still in there? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Oh, we'll get my boots back. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, uh... This is horrible with the context that she's just seen of Abigail <laughs> potentially reanimating dead bodies. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye out on this one. This one's a Yeah, but freak. now she's like, why is my body animating? <laughs> Did we, like, have a relationship? No. <laughs> After I died, what, what happened? <laughs> what happened? She's just gonna... She, she will warn her. She, it, you are, um around so don't be too startled oh good to know um i appreciate that <clears throat> you didn't do anything weird with my body after i died did you <laughs> i'm just gonna clarify <laughs> i saw you animate a body earlier and then ha have it disrobe i just kind of want to clear the air on that i don't I don't. So get... No judgment from me. No judgment from me. I'm just. No, you should definitely judge. Yeah, you should judge. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, there are some, some sexualities in this polite. world where there are some sexualities in this world where you should definitely judge. Yeah. Them. Oh yeah. Fair. She just looks at her to get the clothes off because I couldn't pull them off without breaking them. Oh. Oh okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Much more sane reason. There is, there is lines of undead. That some of that's them... actually a bit of a relief. Okay, a big relief. A lot. I was gonna have to have a talk with your sister. Don't have a talk, with my sister, about that. It's not. Don't tarnish my name like that. Tarnish your name. <laughs> I think right. you've done that plenty on no. your own. No, I've been perfectly reasonable. Obviously, what? the only thing. <laughs> All right. She's going to look for the nearest door. The normal person. All right. Um, as you head around, so there's this massive collapsed wall around the side that leads into the main courtyard. And um, as you kind of head up there, the first thing you see is just a skeletal arm lying there. Um, out of character, if you remember, uh, that was the <laughs> arm of uh, my Dahlia's arm of my brother. brother. <laughs> yeah, that he carried out and then promptly left behind as he's like, I don't know if it's gonna. I'll just be one armed. <laughs> All right. Uh... As you enter the courtyard, there are bodies everywhere. All undead. Okay. Undead, dead, undead, dead, 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 dead undead. Fuck, that sounds weird. Dead undead everywhere. Yep. Un undead. Un undead, yeah. Un undead. <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, technically, that's what's weird. They're not. They're not un undead. Un undead would be a completely different spell. Yeah, okay, to remove the undeadness from them. Otherwise, so they're, they're re. What? They're re dead. They're just re dead undead. Yeah. But undead they're... is just a decayed corpse walking. So they're, they're... still. They're re dead. They're just They're dead again. They're Anyways. <laughs> Technically, undead is a species type. I was looking up the rules the other day. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's weird. Apparently, once they're risen from the dead, they go from inanimate corpses to the species of undead. Which is why stuff like um, resurrection spells don't work on undead bodies, even after they've been killed again. So, hold on. Without, like, is a... Abigail currently undead or not? No, no, she's living. Abigail is living because she's Abigail living. was uh, grown using a clone spell. Okay. So she's okay. completely alive. Okay. Yeah. Cry that. <laughs> All right. She's going to cast... Well, not yet. She's going to stealth in, though. Okay. Roll stealth. That's a 23. 
23. All right. Uh, you and Dolores work your way up the tower. There are deceased undead everywhere. And it looks like there was some sort of massive jailbreak situation. Uh, as you reach the tower that Micah resides in, you do pass by the door. You have to pass by um, Histon's lab on the way up. The door is cracked open. Do I hear anything coming from there? You do not. No. I'm still extra hard because that's more sus. <laughs> mm-hmm. As you get to Micah's tower, the door up there is shut. Can I try to open it? You may. I will. Could you roll a dexterity saving throw for me? I don't like that. But I will. Didn't you walk up to a door and you didn't check it for traps? Do you mm-hmm. play D&D? &D? No. <laughs> Eleven. All right, and this can you roll a, house. Can you roll a constitution saving throw for me? Oh god, petrification uh, is coming up again. Oh, uh, that's a ten. Okay. Failed them both. Uh. You open the door and promptly trip over a stack of books <clears throat> and then begin coughing profusely as you just inhaled by instinct which is weird to you and sucked in a bunch of dust that they threw up in a cloud around you this is oh. mica trap, <laughs> my <laughs> trap. <laughs> awesome. so you're on the ground prone coughing your lungs out at this point see not everything is petrification or a trap no <laughs> this is worse this is a trap. This is, you trip over books <laughs> Yes, you tripped over books. There are books everywhere. Sounds the real right. role will happen is if, like, a bookmark came out of place. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's gonna <laughs> kill me. <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> um, she's gonna, like, look back, assess the situation. Dolores is <laughs> just staring after you, like, okay. <laughs> she's just, okay. no judgment here. It's okay. Dolores is like, this mission is so much adjusting. <laughs> Dolores she is the ultra should... sweet nerd who never wants to offend anyone. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna But will get... cast fireball if you prove yourself a threat. <laughs> she will not hesitate, bitch. Yeah. She's gonna... Are we in a room or did we just open like a hallway? Um, no, this is the room, this is the room at the top of the tower where Micah, um, supposedly should be. Uh, she's gonna, she's gonna say, like, she's gonna look back up and be, like, comment, like, I don't know, like, of course it would be a pile of books at the door. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna look around for Micah. No one's here. Awesome. Why not? <laughs> um, no one's here. We should be here. I, that's where she last was. Oh. Uh, wait. I think. I, Do have it. You cast sending. <laughs> okay. To Micah. Okay. Uh, just. Where are you? What is it? Twenty-five words. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Um, where are you? Um, don't trust his sin. We're in the tower. Okay. 
you hear back in a new tower, not sure where, Histon's a jerk. <laughs> She's in the new tower. Histon is with her. That is very bad news. Uh, Does that think on the general layout? Does of what? Oh, the, the castle. The whole thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She knows the whole thing. Yeah, she said spent plenty of time there. She's gonna go to another tower, also stealthing. Uh, pick one at random, I guess. All right. She's All right. gonna actually avoid. Well, no, she'll pick one at random. Okay. Uh, you go there. She's not there either. Roll a D2 to see which one you go to next. Okay, D2? Mm -hmm. There's not a D2. I'll do a D4. Uh, D4 and, and then, yeah, evens and odds. Uh, four. Four? Uh, okay. Even. She's not in that one either. <laughs> well, <laughs> listen. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do except try another one. The last one? Okay. She's not in the last tower either. Oh, that's good. This is fine. Wait. She... This is fine. She's going to tell the list. Wait, she told me she was in a new tower. These are all the towers. Maybe she meant like a different castle? Your princess is in another castle. I don't think they have another castle. Well, we'll find her, don't worry. Is she safe? Is this and I don't know. Okay. Well, we'll find her. This should be with a jerk, but that's. Well, he may have been a jerk, but he sure had a wonderful laboratory. I've actually just no. spent the last several minutes down there. <laughs> Has some wonderful items. <sighs> Is he right there? Yeah, now Barry ah! just like walked into the room. He's like patting his bag of holdings. Wonderful <laughs> items in there. Okay. Make a perception check. You know, right now she's currently falling on top of another lady in front of a monk. Mm. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Uh, all right. You see something in the distance outside the window. I'll leave off there for now and tab over to Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, you Hi. and Deidre are, are out on the porch, just kind of vibing. Mm -hmm. She's vibing. watching you blow made... glass. She's kind of like the head in the hand thing. I've made her glass. I've made her this glass, in fact. I like it. Making glass. Thank you. Oh, I, if, I'm having fun. If, if I had like other kinds of sand i can make different colors but this is just kind of like what i have and you know if i had my, my full setup ooh, things i can make yeah, things i can make 
but there's, you know, just with what I have right now. For the viewers at home, she's making little pink glass flowers with what she has. She probably asked Deidre for like a bucket of water just to flash chill. Yeah, it's in the server. So actually, hang on. Let me put down uh, Discord. So we have a Discord and um, uh, it's it's down in the uh, the Lost Continent section um it's very cute it's very cute pretty little glass flowers it's adorable. little glass flowers and yeah so she's probably made her like three or four at this point like a cute little little bouquet oh i will intentionally pronounce it wrong um yeah, so they're just out there just vibing, having a good time. Definitely not approaching the fact of feelings. Nope, just avoiding it entirely. Mm-hmm. It's, it's that kind of tension where you both feel it, and you both know that it's there, yeah. but nobody Been talks about it. No one Me. wants to do the foot first move. Me and exactly. Kayla for like six months. Yep. It's just no one wants to do the first move, and it's, it's scary. Thankfully, I didn't have that. Even though Deidre, Deidre already yeah, kind of did the first kissed. move. Yeah. We've definitely roll, kissed. We've roll, definitely, like, breached bases. Roll initiative. What's up? What's up? Sick. Wait. Eleven. Ha. Huh. She got higher. She makes the first move. She goes in for a kiss. And she's sunlocked and we will do it. And we'll just take it. Yeah, like she, she gives you a very, not like sweet, a champion. very sweet, very not like a champion. Kiss. It's very and then nervous. She's like, I am. Um, I really like you. You're fun, and you're happy, and you're bright, and you're nice, like, and you're fire, and like I live around fire, but like, our fire's like dark and creepy, and yours is like bright and fun, and I like that. Her hair fire gets a little bluer. <laughs> it gets a little hotter. <laughs> <laughs> and her tail does too. Her tail is straight up blue right now. And she's a little charmander. I, 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 before you know, I, I, I know you guys like need to go wherever you're going soon, and I just, I wanted to tell you, you know, that I really, I've been enjoying your time together, and I think that we could. Oh, fuck. And as she kind of looks up, she goes, My dad's home early. And with that, You're... we'll end the session early. <laughs> or not early, but that's how we'll end the session. <laughs> no. Uh... no. Double cliffhanger. Okay. Uh... Okay. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Problem. Uh, so outros. Uh, starting with uh the magnanimous Naz. Um, the Naz Magnanimous numbers. Naz. Let's go. You got this. Numbers. Naz, Abigail, Dahlia, Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nat outro. All right. Your third. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> You've been tagged. You've been tagged in. All right. Uh, Matt, play your usually easy going, but now stern dad, Southern dad, Marcus. Southern dad. Uh, <laughs> who I'm is waiting trying... for the bless your heart. I'm waiting mm. for it. I, I feel <laughs> like I've already said that, but. Yeah, I think you have. I think you have. But yeah, he's just Let's trying to it. help. Trying to help his adopted daughter realize that she's gay as fuck. Very gay. But, yeah, I'll pass it on to Silky now. The gay one. Yep. Um, the other gay one. The other. The gay other one. gay. Um. Yeah. To the internet, I am Silky to the internet, and I am the lesbian or discovering one's lesbianness <laughs> to the lost continent, Galley. And I think uh, she almost went out with one of the boys before this. Well, no, one of the boys no, went one tried of to the go boys out with her. Asked her out. That's, That's different. <laughs> and then she gave her yes. drugs. <laughs> and then gave her drugs. So. That's true. He did give her love potion. 
<laughs> she did give her a love potion. And our dad, Siren, was like, no, this is drugs. He's <laughs> like, oh, okay. Anywhore, you can come check me and Naz and our DM, Markham, tomorrow as we play Legend of Kralis with our lovely dad, Talarius, our actual dad. Our actual dad. We're not all related. Yeah, He's clearly, our actual, we are obviously he, triplets. He is our actual fictional dad. Uh, but you can come get us tomorrow. He's we our nerd Legend dad. Kralis, nerd. Our nerd dad. Yeah. Nerd, nerd dad. Where we play Legend of Kralis tomorrow, where you can catch up with all of our inside jokes we're mentioning of who the hell is Bajra and Bar and Ellen. Who the hell are these people? You want to find out? Come catch us tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the whole reason why we do it. <laughs> whole reason why we do it. Uh, that whole conversation with Terrell. Yeah, yeah. Um, Matt you'll will never be playing know that him one. on Critical Role someday, so you'll we're just putting that out into the that void one. to will it into existence. <laughs> if I got to play Terrell on Critical Role, I would have way too much damn fun. I know you would. You and Sam Regal would get along too well. <laughs> Horrifying. Uh, Sam Regal is force of nature. He plays Scanlan, and it's in the one. Oh. Okay, oh one. yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they they always tell me that Terrell is basically like a monk version of Scanlan. He's monk Scanlan. If mm-hmm. Scanlan was a monk, any whore. Dean now up on this channel has a whole bunch of other D and D games. If you need your fix regularly during the week, they have a game on Mondays, the AON Adventures. They have uh, on Tuesdays they have State of the Union, the Emerald City. I believe is what they've kind of gone with. Yep. Uh, nothing on Wednesdays just yet. You can come back and catch us here at the Lost Continent on Thursdays. Legend of Prelis on Fridays. Saturdays are also open, and I think there's a bi-weekly game on Sundays. I think. I think so. I think so. Uh, so if you like D&D and you like TTRPGs, you'll come and hang out here a little longer. Come catch us all the time. Um, and last but certainly not least, pass it off to our Dungeon Daddy himself that would be me <laughs> um i guess i'm adding, adding dungeon daddy to, to the title anthony Bird yeah you are anthony you would be so proud um <laughs> so yeah be, yes. dungeon lord shenanigan sovereign dungeon daddy uh all of the above uh i am uh mr markham and i do indeed play tomorrow night with callie not callie cool. with uh selkie and naz <laughs> um and uh, we will be uh, dealing with a dungeon crawl of our own. Last time we went through one, it didn't go so well, and this time we'll doing, be doing it with with a lot less gear. Are we? So, are we dungeon crawling tomorrow? I thought it no, was we're, a dungeon crawl. Start. No, it's a no, we're we're being thing. political. Oh no, it is it is a dungeon crawl because we are we've gone underground. Yeah, we you have, have to, to prove ourselves in a dungeon. It, it, we have to face it's our fears for eight hours. Underground and it's sealed. That's basically a dungeon. No, we that's a tomb. Our, we just have to face our fears for eight hours and survive. It's Is not it, a dungeon crawl. It's okay, not. A dungeon we're crawl. so messed it's up. We know we're messed up. I know. <laughs> oh, I no. can't wait. I can't okay. wait. I, I don't so know what it is then. I was prepared for like another Tomb of Annihilation dungeon crawl oh. situation. No. I don't know what to expect now. No. Um, no, I have I have my guesses and I'm ready to tell years ago and try to real like really try to make me cry on on stream this time. And it might actually happen. Oh. I need to invest in my waterproof eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, do it, do it. I'll just not wear eyeliner. Um, like, no. <laughs> no, wear it. I have that done it dramatic. before, and it looked good, okay? Don't you dare no. give me that. I'm not. None no, of us Markham, are judging you. Markham, we love you can it. Absolute, you can yes, absolutely do wear it. eyeliner if you want to. Please come tomorrow wear eyeliner. Yes. <laughs> Please do it. It's eyeliner dramatic and make every- you cry. Not on the Everybody night where ma- it's going to be crying and whatever you said with fingers uh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, you, but you get everyone's black hotter with eyeliner. Marks? That's, Everyone's that's hotter with eyeliner. That's cool true, as hell. actually. Yeah, my eyes actually huh. look awkwardly tiny. I'm realizing. Um, <laughs> it's a whole different. Type. Ooh, yeah, homework. All right, we have to go now. Dad has given us homework. No, no, no. <laughs> go before he gives All us right. more homework. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I you don't see it. Take care. Stay lost. Stay safe. Come check out our game tomorrow night. It's gonna be epic. And uh, check us out next week. And like uh, like Selkie said, they have them almost every day of the week. They're awesome here. Come check it oh, out. Man. And oh, yeah. uh, 
stay safe and stay lost, everybody. Goodbye, friends. Cheerio. Goodbye.